Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Petro Diamonds focusing on refinancing $250 million loan notes and green ammonia ousting coal in power stations. Having reset its cost base, delivering new life of mine plants with a smooth capital profile, the focus of Petro Diamonds is very much on refinancing its $250 million loan notes. The main focus of our invest today was to demonstrate the resilience of our business through steps we implemented over the recent months. I think the key features were the fact that we have reduced our cost base by $30 million on a sustainable annualized basis. We also have, uh, through replanning uh, our, our mines, smoothed our capital profile on a go-forward basis to uh, around $100 million per annum or, or less. And the main reason for, for doing these things was to ensure that our business is cash generative from this financial year 2025 and also uh, around deleveraging our balance sheet with a view to refinancing uh, our second lien loan notes, which mature in March 26. And we highlighted that we would be looking to refinance those loan notes before the end of this calendar year to ensure that we can provide certainty around the business and the resilience that we built in the business. Huge demand for green ammonia from power stations is being seen by the developer of South Africa's 105 billion rand green hydrogen to green ammonia project in the Eastern Cape. We've really hit a major milestone now in terms of the project and we're moving from what we call mid-stage development to advanced stage. And, and this is a really exciting time for us. What has happened in the project is we've now completed all our pre-feed studies or the front-end engineering design piece on the molecule portion, and all the renewable energy assets are proceeding to plan. So what that means for the project is now we are preparing to go into uh, front-end engineering design for the final stage of the plant design work, um, which is huge, obviously, from a, a project development point of view, but also has a huge implication because we're also starting our um, request for information process with all the engineering procurement and construction companies, both uh, global and local. Um, and that will start going out this week. You know, this is a really exciting stage for us to move the project forward. The other side of things is, of course, the strategic investors that we've recently had out to South Africa. We had a delegation of 19 people from Japan. We've got a few more delegations coming, some from Europe and potentially from the US as well. So the project has a lot of momentum and it's moving at the right pace and, and in the right direction. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.